Hello everyone. So today let us uh, take a look at uh, the release notes. Now I was uh, trying out the release notes feature on the Jira cloud and uh, we always had this capability of uh, using release notes in Jira and uh, of course it is useful but uh, it is now better. It is now definitely uh, improved and let me show you what you can do with the release notes. Now when you're releasing something of course you want to keep track of things and uh, you of course have your epics and stories and releases in Jira but if you are let us say doing some product development and uh, you want your users to be aware of the latest features that you have released in a specific version then uh, you need to have some release notes. Now, if you look at your release notes uh, and if you want to try and create your own release notes, you need to basically go to the releases. And uh, the way it works is, it is actually very simple. Let us say you're working on this release where uh, you have this re release uh, in Jira in your project. And for each and every release, you can of course have your uh, actual issues assigned to it. Now, in my case, I have these uh, epics and stories and bugs and, uh, you know, lot of these details. Now on top, so basically on this particular page you have few options. Now you can uh, definitely look at uh, a few things like a start date if, if you if you have a start date or maybe an end date along with uh, you along with that you, you, you of course have some indications like you know 30 days warning or basically you know if you have anything which is you know not really looking good. So you can basically look at these warnings as well. But uh, uh, the thing is that to create a new release note out of it, you can uh, click on the button on top called release notes. And when you do this, you will have the option to basically do some formatting. Now this is good because uh, I may want to include uh, my description. And uh, this will, of course, list all the issues along with the summary, but also the description. And if you're using let us say environment field, then yeah, why not? You can also try to use it in case you have any environment field. But I think having just a simple list works fine. And at the same time, uh, you can uh, also include only specific task or issue types. So basically, if you are trying to release something, you may not want to basically list each and every issue type. I mean, you can, why not? But uh, I think for your customers, for your end users, I think they just want to know the epics. My, maybe you know you have those epics like okay we are going to release this feature then of course you will break down your epic into stories but you have the option here which is good so it is a bit configurable of course not really a lot configurable but it is still you know you can do few things now this is of course my list and uh, we have done the formatting now before i save these uh, release notes so of course you, you can save it but uh, the thing is that you may want to copy it somewhere, maybe you have your own internet, internet website. So you, you will get two options. You will either get the option to save it to a markdown or HTML. So let us try both. So if I click on markdown, it will basically copy this whole thing here in my uh, on my clipboard. And what I can do is I can now uh, take a look at uh, the, uh, the, the the markdown basically, basically the option to uh, save it somewhere. So let me just try to find uh, something which I can show you very quickly. So let me just open one editor. Okay, let us try. Let me just give me a second. Okay, 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 okay. Test dot. All right. So basically what I will do is I will copy the 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 text here, basic, basically the entire text from um, from my release notes. And of course it is marked down, so you need to, I mean, you need to have some idea about how it works. Let me change the mode. So if I change the mode to markdown in my Emacs, so I can see here, okay, we have these release notes. So it is, it is good. I mean, at least we can save it to some other format. And of course you have the HTML, which uh, is um, good. I like it. So let me just uh, get rid of this. Okay, so we have the HTML here and it is, it is of course not really formatted, but uh, maybe if you are using, uh, I mean, when you, when you save it, 
I think it should work. HTML mode. All right, so we have the HTML. So this is good because we can now save it to uh, clipboard in these two formats. But you can also simply uh, you know publish it to your uh, Confluence page. Now, if you publish it to Confluence page, you will get the option to select your page. Maybe I will select here uh, my application support, whatever. And then you can cl click on the create in Confluence. It will basically create a page for you with exactly the same uh, list of issues. And of course, it is now a macro. So this is actually better because I would prefer things in Confluence where I can probably you know modify it further. But good thing is that the moment you do it, you will also get the link back uh, to your uh, release notes. So basically, um, within your Jira release, release page, you can see this uh, link. And this link is useful because uh, using this link, and by the way, if you look at the page here, the page has, of course, uh, the project name and the version name and, uh, and you know, this is useful. I mean, uh, because you can, you can use this information to understand what is happening. And this is quite useful because uh, I may want to create a page. I, I, I think everyone should create a page if you are releasing something just to highlight what you did. And of course, it is coming directly from Jira. And this is really useful. All right, so that is that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and show you today in this video. I hope I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.